Good morning, guys, or afternoon. Um, this one's fresh from prayer this morning. On a Matthew 7, 1 through 13. And as I was praying, I was, you know, in the midst of a couple storm, but one of them I'm kind of trying to think things through, right? The Lord dealt with me. He said, why are you thinking so much? Because it's becoming stinking. Thing you're thinking is stinking. Stench to his nostrils. Okay, God. So it's time to walk. And talk. Okay, God, I'm kind of listening. I mean, I'm, I really was, you know. I'm listening. Just walk and pray. Walk and talk in prayer and supplication. He wants to talk with us, guys. You gotta be praying. Man, guys, and then there's three messages in that. It, when you read them, you know, we, I, I, facing a lot of some serious medical challenges in one of us, unfortunately, up here. But that's okay. But, <clears throat> we have to really be praying and seeking Him in supplication and in prayer. Because man, guys, things are twisting and spinning out of control really fast all around you. But one of the messages in there is about, you know, we want to blast others, slam them, whatever. But we're not looking at the beam in our own eye. So right now, that's one of the things. It's like, man, I got to mow my own yard, guys. I was doing 99.5% 99 .5 of what the Lord told me to do on something. Pretty major and serious. I was following his will, or so I thought. And 5% deviation caused me to err quite a bit. I just recently had to cut the ties with a couple people because it was a one-way street. Take, take, take. As soon as I could, wouldn't give, give, give. Oh, they would constantly call me. Now they don't call me at all. When I finally said, no, you know, I'm not going down that one-way street the wrong way. That was just part of it. But so we have to really be prayed up of who we're dealing with. And all things, guys. <laughs> Giving, where we give, time, energy, whatever. That's number one. But I have to and to forgive him, which I did. But I was angry, guys. I'll just admit it. At first, at first, I was angry. I was like, man. When my eyes kind of really opened up, because I wasn't paying attention because of the 5% deviation that I thought was, you know, seemingly small. When my, my mess, part of my message is the small things are destroying the vine. Little things, the small foxes. My people lack, we're not perish for lack of knowledge, that little things that seem non-sequential, consequential, whatever. That's how the devil creeps in. It started at the Garden, at Garden of Eden, guys. It seemed like a nothing burger. It was everything. So come on, guys, that's number one. Quit looking at others. Maybe start thinking about what's going on us to start and mow the grass. Learn to forgive. You may have to move on, of course. That may be part of it. But I did in a couple of them. Trying to help some people and I actually was angry by what I was doing. Didn't see it that way. 
that's how the enemy is. Okay, that's number one. And then number two, he said, if you ask anything, if we're if we're earthly and our kids ask us for something, do we give them scorpions and rocks and whatever? You know, no, we give them the, try to give them the best. Could we ask for it? Could we love them more? How much more does our heavenly Father want to do that for us? We're just not, and then the receiving part is receiving. He wants us. But we have to be in prayer and supplication, guys. We have to. I'm not saying look past all the stuff that's going on. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying don't be judging others so quickly. Because that's what it says at the beginning. What you measure and judge people with, that's you're going to be judged with. So really it's those three things. The judgment side of it. Clean up our own yard. And believe them. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor have entered into the hearts of man. What kind of store for those that love them? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Those that they love them. So many scriptures, guys. But he wants us to walk and talk in prayer and supplication. What's he telling you to do, guys? Where's he telling you to go? What's he telling you to do? But you're not going to get it through this not praying. That's why it's so important about 5 a.m. in the morning prayer. I'm going to reiterate that because I got that in prayer and it was at 5 in the morning. Sometimes I've been up at 1, 2. I'm pretty exhausted right now, God. I went, came home and I've been I'm work, working and doing things 12, 14, 16 hour days for a long time. Not, not even hardly taking any time off. So a lot of them been in the ministry though, so it's I'm not, not honoring the Sabbath. It's just kind of been mixed together. Maybe that's a little bit in air. I'm still praying about that. But it's just there's such a need. But I was tired. I came home. My wife didn't go somewhere for a few hours. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just take a nap. Couldn't lay down. This message kept coming coming through. Like, okay, Lord, I'll get up. Make me a strong cup of coffee. Nothing to Good cup of java can't handle. And of course the Holy Ghost. So, guys, it's imperative that we start, because that's our communication with him. That's his talking to us in prayer and supplication. What are you bringing to God? Your dirty, stinky mind? Full of clutter. Look at the, all the main medias and stuff. Man, all they're doing is trashing, trashing us. You know, it's like I told told somebody. I was like, "How many of y'all have heard this?" Look both ways before you cross the street. Where did you hear it? Continuously. I told my my grandkids that. I told my kids that. Until they got it. That's what the the world is doing to us. What's what the enemy is doing to us? It's wearing out our brain, our mind, the carnality of it. YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Pick one. Google, your job, the media, the political realm. <sighs> Want to cut through all that garbage? Turn it off. Start with. Second one, turn it over to God. Talk to him about it. Ask him what to do about it. And really ask him. Don't look for the answer you want. That's the walking. Walking it out by faith. Where is he telling you to go? So, man, with this, guys. A year ago. And it had nothing to do with me. I'm just the mailman. I'm the watchman on the top of the tower saying, Hey! And repent, get right with God, clean up your own, your own yard, clean up your heart. Don't let these little things that seem like they're nothing, they're a way for the enemy to weasel in. Me too, guys, I'm not exempt from this, but 
I'm telling you, I'm warning you, been warning people for one year ago, there was a storm coming. Look it up, Amos 8.11. And the storm was 8.11 to 9.11 as in 2020. People have to decide. No more fence riding, guys. This is not the game of Monopoly. You don't get to pass go with 200 bucks. This is not the game of life. This is not a game, guys. The real deal. Pony up. Pray up. I'm sorry to tell you that. This is not, that's such a canned answer. I get it all the time. I'm seeing people do it all the time. I'll pray for you. I'll probably, you never hear, from, you know, you know, they're not going to pray for you. You know, you're not going to ever hear from them again. You just, you don't even need the spirit of discernment to sense that. It's like you don't need the spirit of discernment to sense that there's something really haywire going on right now, guys. I'm not talking about just the political, the world, but you know why? Because they've already made the choice for the evil. And we continue down this path, the country's gonna be destroyed and we may be captive. Captive people, We're not gonna be destroyed, but we may become captive. Guys, I'm telling you, the imperativeness of this is decide, but decide to pray walk and talk with him. That's what he wanted from Adam and Eve, walk and talk with him in the cool of the day. Why? You want direction in your life? Well, then follow it. Listen to him. Don't go, you know, with your book and all your lists of stuff that you need. He already knows that. Go to him with a clean, pure heart. Man, hey Lord, what's your will today? Love you guys. Let's walk and talk in prayer and supplication. Because if we don't pray, guys, we may not have a free land anymore for one. That's a good start. You want to leave your kids, your grandkids, this mess? Or do you want to leave them a legacy that, hey, my mom and dad prayed, my granddad prayed, my grandmother prayed, really sought God? I'm not talking, like I said, I went to this one church and I was like, no, you don't want to hear a million mouth canned prayer that pounds it out the ceiling. The real deal, guys. One of my messages are you wrong with God. Love you guys. But we've got to get to the bottom of this. And the only way we can get to the bottom of this is to prepare and supplication. Talking to God in direction for our lives. The enemy is out to destroy us. God's people. Every chance he gets. Are you in or are you out? Not, not any more of this hogwash, because a lot of that's this little stuff that we think, oh, well, I can just, you know, this is okay. Pick the, you know, what's today? Pick the, pick the idol of this holiday. Sorry, it is an idol. It's not okay. Sorry, Halloween is not okay. Look who they celebrate. People try to make it minuscule. It's a big deal, guys. I have some of them witches and warlock people that have come out what they think about it. I'm not picking on that one thing either, guys. I'm saying the slight things, the little things that seem like they're non non consequential, that they're not gonna affect us any. That's what the enemy's using to pull away, to deceive, to steal, kill, and destroy us. So what's your little thing? It might be m m bunches of them. It might be a big thing, too. But it, 
it's starting up here because we're thinking instead of praying instead of seeking him instead of opening these we're trying to use this ain't gonna work love you guys talk to you soon uh hope to see you soon thanks bye